Good morning. This is Saturday, July 30th, and today's devotion is the teaching of disillusionment. This is John 2. Jesus did not commit, commit himself to them, for he knew what was in man's heart. Disillusionment means having no more misconceptions, false impressions, or false judgments in life. It means being free from these deceptions. However, though no longer deceived, our experience of disillusionment may actually leave us cynical or overly critical in our judgment of others. But the disillusionment that comes from God brings us to the point where we see people as they really are, yet, without any cynicism or stinging and bitter criticism or gossip. Many of the things in life that inflict the greatest injury, grief, or pain stem from the fact that we suffer from illusions of what we think people should be towards us. We are not true to one another as facts, seeing each other as we really are. We are only true to our misconceived ideas of one another, of what we think we should be to one another. According to our thinking, everything is either delightful and good with that person, or it is evil, malicious, and cowardly. Refusing to be disillusioned is the cause of much suffering in human life, and I must say it's the reason for so many divisions in different churches I've seen over the years. And this is how that suffering happens. If we love someone but do not love God, then we demand total perfection and righteousness from that person. And when we do not get it, we become cruel and vindictive towards them. Very critical. Yet, we are demanding of a human being something which he or she cannot possibly give. Only God. There is only one being who can completely satisfy to the absolute depth of the hurting human heart, ours, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord is so obviously uncompromising with regard to every human, every human relationship because he knows that every relationship that is not based on faithfulness to him will end in disaster. Our Lord trusted no one and never placed his faith in people. Yet, he was never suspicious or bitter or gossipy about those people. Our Lord's confidence in God and in what God's grace could do for anyone was so perfect that he never despaired. He never gave up hope for any person. If our trust is placed in human beings, we will end up despairing of everyone. The challenge I have for you today is kind of a kind of a fun one. There's an old hymn in the church, and you need to finish this finish this verse and tell me what the hymn is. Here's here's the first part of it. I dare not trust the sweetest frame. Now you finish it and you can type it in and tell me what it is. Who do we have faith in? The sweetest frame, which for me is my wife, or do we have faith in God? I dare not trust the sweetest frame. You finish it and tell me what that hymn is. Let's pray. Father, I love you, we love you, and we want to put our trust in you completely. And Lord, let us uh, get past this uh, need to see other people in an impossible setting. Only you can do that for us. So let us look unto you, and as we do, we find grace for those around us. Lord, if we have ought against someone today, give us the power to release it so that we can grow and be free. And Lord, I pray that we would indeed lean on you as best we can. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow at church.